Hi there. So as you know, for the people who are following me know that I'm trying to get through letters and DMs that have been sent to me on my YouTube channel, website, and or um, through Instagram. And um, this is a letter that is coming to me from um, a person that was actually on Instagram. And I, I kind of got annoyed with this, um, this letter and this person, I will be writing to you privately because really, truly, um, I'll tell you what I really think. Um, and I won't be politically correct like I'm about to be with this, but I am going to read the letter and hopefully this will help somebody else out there. Um, it says, um, hi, Sonia, my boyfriend says that he is a high earner and that I should dress and look the part to fit into his world. I am 24 years old and petite and doing all that I can to be a high value woman, but it seems like my standards are not enough. Could you please advise me as to how I can look more high value? Um, these are the designers I like. And then she names off a few designers, blah, blah, blah. Some of them, suit me some of them don't but i wear them because my boyfriend likes them tell him to wear them then i mean it's kind of like you know it's very clear i mean from the photos that you've actually sent me um i see that you are a petite person and i will give you some designers that actually uh really work well with petite shapes i think that you're gonna have to look at your own style and you're gonna to have to look at how comfortable you are in some of the clothing that he's put you in or he wants to see you in. And then, like I said to you, um, a couple of other readers who have, writers who have written in to me, um, look, you have to kind of like also look for red flags. And if this guy is such a high valued person uh, in his mind, because just because he's a high earner, does not mean he's a high value. There's a big difference there. There's a lot of people that make a lot of money just being buffoons and going around and having hundreds of kids from all kinds of women and then kicking the woman out of the door because they don't want to see them again because they've got another thing that just walked in off the street. So the thing is, is that there's a lot of that going on. Those men make a lot of money. They're high earners, but they don't have high values and they're not high valued men. So, I mean, it's like, you know, so I think that you're gonna have to probably assess this. And I don't know what this man does or um, where are you located? Okay, so <laughs> you're not located in the country that I'm in, so that's good. So, um, <laughs> just in case, because he's big. Um, Anyway, nevertheless, it seems to me that um, you're going to have to go with what's comfortable for you. And I know that this sounds really horrible, but I don't know if you love this guy or if this guy loves you. Because any man that really truly loves you is not going to criticize the way you look and tell you that you're not dressing or behaving in a high valued way just because he's a high value man or he perceives himself as that as that. I don't know where all of this has come from. All of a sudden, there's a lot of this, oh, how can I be a high value woman or how can I look like a high and I'm thinking to myself, where is this coming from? I mean, every time you wake up, comb your hair, brush your um brush your face, brush your teeth, put on your clothes and you walk out of the door as a groomed individual, you're a high valued person. You go to work, you pay your bills, you look the best you can, you eat well, you look after your family, your kids, you take your pets for walks. That's a high valued person. You kind of meditate, you are at peace of mind and you're content with your life until you could do better. You know what? That's a high valued person, at least in my book it is. And so therefore, I don't think that you have to go out of your way to change um, just to suit some kind of man who is probably making a little bit of money, but he's literally something um, shorter than being a dweeb. Um, and that's my politically correct version of this. I will be emailing you what I really truly think. 
Um, and that's kind of like the way it's going to go. Um, you know, I will do a video on this um, with using a model. We're acting this out and a couple of the other um, letters that I've received simply because I think that women have got to start realizing that we cannot allow men to pigeonhole uh, hold us and put us in a box. I mean, pigeonhole, box, pinhole, whatever you want to call it. You can't just stick us in a box and just say that, okay, this is a high value woman. This is a low value woman. This is a sleazy woman. This is a this woman. And this is what I want. I want you like this on Tuesday, this on Wednesday, that on Thursday, and yada, yada, yada. It doesn't work that way. You have to be your true authentic self every day. Because guess what? You live with yourself every day. Every day. And although you might be living with that ding dong, also, you live with yourself 365 days of the year and every minute, second, hour of time, you're in your own body and you're with yourself. So I think you should probably look at pleasing yourself, putting yourself first, and then look at what your boyfriend likes. And if he really truly likes all those labels that you have actually put down, I will actually um, suggest certain pieces from this season from those labels that I think will suit a petite frame. And then some, they just don't work well on petite bodies. And I will actually give you a couple of labels that do. But please don't be gaslighted into believing that you've got to actually look a certain way because this ding dong is making a little few coins. Okay, anyway, thank you so much for um, watching. Hopefully this has helped someone else. You, the writer, I will actually be in touch with you privately and um, love you for watching. Thank you. Mwah.